Hello and welcome to Ogre, Old Guys Outdoor Review. I'm Tall Paul and today we are here at the Rio Grande River, which is a repetitively redundant saying, Rio Grande River, Rio River. It's kind of like saying the La Luz Trail, the, the, hmm. But anyway, we're waiting for our daily body to to float by while we do our review. Today we're gonna to do a review and comparison of the Eureka Solitaire, has nothing to do with a solo card game, and the Snug Pack Ionosphere. But before we get into that, I want to talk to you about the single most important survival gear that anybody who goes outdoors at all should have. This is the most important thing ever. A Spider-Man Pez dispenser. Yes, it's very important. If you need that little extra sugar boost, <laughs> the camera guys are laughing their asses off right now, which was my intent. Now, anything else doesn't work. If it's not Spider-Man, it's no good. So this is a Eureka Solitaire. Uh, what I like about this tent is, or this style of tents even, is all the mesh. You're sleeping under it, you can sleep under the stars, you're not gonna get bothered by bugs. That makes it really nice. Um, this particular one has an attached fly, so it's always there, always ready to go. So if you need to get out, and because it starts raining, you can pull it down, stake it down, get back in and you're good to go. That's also a disadvantage though because you have to get out of your tent and untie this, bring it down, stake it down, and by that time, rain's getting in your thing, so you're in your tent, so if you wanna close that one first, that's a good idea. Um, I bought this tent over 20 years ago. I've used it a lot. It stood up all kinds of different weather conditions. This is a great little tent when I was 20. Now that I'm older, uh, getting in and out of this thing, there's not a whole lot of room for you and gear. Um, getting in and out as an old fogey, yes, I'm old. That's why we call it Ogre, Old Guys Outdoor Review. So uh, getting in and out is a little, so it's time to replace this tent for multiple reasons. A, I'm older and it's just kind of pain to get in and out, like I said. The other reason is this is over 20 years old. It's starting to get that, that sticky, frail kind of you can't close the bag all the way just, it's just getting old i don't know what they come with these days but the one that i bought came with the world's cheapest tent stakes these little wire l-shaped things that bend and they're absolutely worthless but i used them and the last time i used this was over the summer i went camping in montana and a mountain lion roared at about two o'clock in the morning and scared the living hell out of me. And I stayed awake, petrified, knowing I should make noise and move, but you know, it, that's not gonna stop a mountain lion. So that's a Eureka. It's about eight feet long by, what was it? Two feet wide. Uh, it's about two feet tall. It's a great little tent, but for younger guys. Great for hiking, camping. Uh, I would I would get a bigger camp for a uh, bigger tent for roadside camping, like the one we already reviewed in our other video, which is somewhere around here, in this area right here, or maybe over here. I don't know. Right here. Oh wait, he's facing the other way, so it's going to be right. <laughs> Just kidding. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, but you know, you could take it kayaking. It's real lightweight. It fits in your pack really nicely and if you're a young guy that doesn't mind getting in and out of these things it's a great tent heck i need to replace this one so if you're interested in this one send a message make an offer because i want to replace it that is a eureka it gets about a uh uh four 4.2 4 4.3 star review on amazon it's currently going for $119.95 on Amazon. Uh, reason we keep using Amazon is because that's the most popular site to look for stuff. And if you look on eBay, you could probably find them cheaper or elsewhere. So shop around if you're looking for a deal. Uh, might even be willing to, uh, to sell you this one, but there's only one. So first come, first serve. It's made out of Poly Shore. I mean, uh, hey, baby, what is it? 
what does he say? It's been a long time. Anyway, uh, it's made out of polyester and uh and it keeps rain out great and i've i've used this thing in in wind rain hail and nice nice weather like this uh, all sorts of different weathers of course not in middle of winter but uh it's a great tent uh highly recommend it if you're a young guy willing to crawl in and out of this thing and again there's not a lot of room for gear and you but there is some room for gear so so it's good the eureka solitaire good for one person hence solitaire not two people unless you're really short and i know some really short people so you could probably stack through or a clown it could be a clown car tent that would be fun you just load like 20 clowns in there and then they just get out that could be fun to watch anyway let's move on to the other tent <laughs> So this is the Snug Pack Ionosphere. It's the same style tent. This one's a little bit taller at 28 inches tall. Um, it does come with a separate rain fly. So when you attach this thing, you're gonna get in through a zipper right here, same as the Eureka. Um, but this, this nice thing about the fly on this one is you could set it out more so you can get the breeze going through if you want it and it's still drizzling down or you could pull it in tight to get you fully, fully encompassed in there. Now, this belong, I've never used this tent. I'm assuming it's about the same as that one. This belongs to one of our producers and cameramen, Dale. He's used this. We've been camping together in some severe weather, actually. We had a uh, rain, hail. I wasn't using this tent. I had it set up just in case my, my tarp that I was sleeping under didn't work as well as I wanted it to. But he was sleeping in this during massive rain and hail storms, and he stayed nice and dry, and he felt safe. Uh, he has the same complaint I do, getting in and out. But again, we're old guys, outdoor review, not youngins. So uh, he originally bought this for 100 and something dollars, $130 or so. It's currently going for $301 on Amazon. It does come with very nice stakes. These are so much nicer than the ones that mine come with. These are the aluminum stakes and they're actually what I'm using for this right now. Uh, it's got a 4.5 star rating on Amazon. It's 94 inches long by 35 inches wide. And it's a good tent also. He's had it for four years now. Um, it's in much better condition than mine. It's not about to give up the ghost in any way, shape, or form. And it's, um, yeah, the Snug Pack Ionosphere. So here are both tents XYZ with their flies down. We didn't stick them all away uh, just because this is for demonstration purposes only. And even with the flies down, I didn't feel uh, claustrophobic in any way, shape, or form in this one. Dale didn't feel claustrophobic in any way, shape, or form in this one. Uh, but this is what it looks like. And there's zippers here so you can get in and out as needed. And they're really nice. So I don't know what colors this comes in anymore but uh, it looked like green on Amazon or something like that, I'm not sure. This one comes in, if you want a stealth camp, it comes in this, this uh, coyote brown kind of color. It also comes in green, uh, more of an olive dab green. So if you want to, and then they have a different kind that has uh, the bright colors like this. So there they are with the doors open-ish, with the fly doors open. XYZ, I already told you guys. And um, so remember to liken, Lincolnthrope? No, like, subscribe, and uh, if you have any questions about anything, leave a comment below. Uh, we'll answer it, uh, maybe even on the next video. We're like interacting with you guys. We're small, so we could still do that. Hopefully we will get big and, and have to have people do that for us. 
knock on wood. So these are the tents. They're great tents, just not if you're old like us. We're Old Guy Outdoor Review, and thanks for watching.